All right, so today we're gonna do a little bit of an update video. I have not been posting much as you've seen as far as main videos, but I have been working on a ton of stuff off camera. Uh, I have some videos that I need to get edited. Hopefully we can do those soon. I always say that, but who knows, this is crapshoot. Anyways, one of the first things we did is we got the K5 moved out of here because we have a bunch of parts we need for that, so we won't be working on that at the moment. We are bringing Blackout back. We're gonna be jumping on this this summer, and maybe, if we're lucky, see if we can't bang it out before uh, King of the Hammers next year. I don't know, anyways, we'll be working on this shortly. I have a sweet surprise for this. I don't know if you guys are gonna like it, but we're really changing directions with what we're doing on this. Hopefully a lot of you guys will, will like that. So that's gonna be coming back. And then one of the big projects I've been working on is the CNC table. Um, I don't know if some of you guys might have seen the video a long time ago of me working on this. Uh, we had to bring this or resurrect this from the dead and get it finished so we can start making uh, some money with it. So I have been doing a lot of work to this. We needed to raise the water table on this. It was a little bit shallower than I wanted. Uh, there's a ton of stuff that I did related to this, so I'll probably do a video, a separate video going over the table, but we are getting close to having it finished. Hopefully in the next month we'll have that done. Another project we've been working on is the Alucab. As you know, we need to build out the interior of this, so we've been working on the solar and building out the inside of this, so I have a couple videos coming for that. Eventually, this is kind of a project that we're going to have to just do as we have free time. It's not a main priority. Another big one that we just banged out is the 80s Toyota. We ended up pulling the engine out of that and we swapped in a new engine, which is probably my favorite engine ever, so you have to stay tuned for that. And we also add some sweet go fast goodies to that. Anyways, this is the 4.3 and transmission from the 80s Toyota. So if any of you guys are looking for pretty much a complete 4.3 swap for a Toyota, you, here's one available. Uh, you got the standalone harness, ECU, the headers that I made, which are really, they're block hugger, hugger headers. You really need that in some of the older Toyotas because it is very tight. Center force clutch, advanced adapters uh, to go to the R150, R150 trans. It's basically ready to go. I mean, this is a pretty dialed setup. So if you are wanting a 4.3 swap for your Toyota, hit me up on that. So for blackout, uh, we're gonna need a bunch of the fab tools as far as like tubing benders and notchers and stuff like that. So I'm working towards getting all the fabrication tools dialed for this. That way when we start on that, we can pretty much hit the ground running. And like I said, there's some cool stuff coming for that. What else? The bus. The bus is another main one or big one. We are getting everything set up so we can start filming some content with that and making some progress with it. Uh, our two main projects this year are going to be blackout in the bus and then <laughs> the CNC table is kind of getting thrown in, in the mix of everything. Not sure how all that'll go. Hopefully that doesn't rob too much time away from filming. But so back to the bus stuff, like we talked about earlier, we're going to be working on the bodywork first, getting the paint and some of the panel straightened out for un the underneath storage. So hopefully we can start working on that soon. Anyways, guys, I know I am slacking on videos. I'm trying my best here, but we have a lot of stuff off camera that I'm trying to get done that kind of uses up too much time if I film it. But I will have an update video on the table. Uh, I'm sure some of you guys would like to see that. And it's pretty cool because I built it myself. It's not a store-bought one, so kind of proud of building that thing. It is giant, and we're setting that thing up for pretty heavy production. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to be doing a lot of off-road brackets or what we're going to dive into with it, but... It is going to come in very handy being able to use it for blackout because there's a lot of trick stuff that I want to utilize that for. So we'll have the table, all of our fabrication stuff. It'll, it'll be pretty nicely set up and we can hopefully hit the ground running on that. Um, as far as videos, we're going to start doing a little bit more of update videos. We'll still do the build videos, but it's not going to be as detailed just because it takes up a lot of time. and. I'm struggling to get these videos out. I really wish I had someone to edit the, the videos because I, I freaking hate it. And that's honestly the biggest reason why you guys don't get this, uh, the content on the regular is because I'm struggling to get the videos edited and still uh, take care of all the stuff off camera. So anyways, I hope you guys like this update video. Drop a comment down below if there's anything I missed and maybe I can cover it in the next one. And uh, stay tuned for the videos coming. The Toyota stuff's pretty cool. Those are, those are going to be sweet videos. You'll want to see those. And uh, yeah, I keep saying a lot, but it's whatever. It's a crapshoot today. Anyways, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace.